Question number 11. We've got a distance time graph <coughs> that shows uh, Debbie's journey from junction 12 to junction 13 on a motorway. Uh, we know that Ian also drove the same journey and he drove at an average speed of 66 kilometres an hour. We need to compare the two journeys and decide who has the faster average speed. There's two ways of doing this. You can take the distance time graph and use it to calculate Debbie's average speed and then compare that to Ian's speed of 66 kilometres an hour. Or you can use Ian's average speed and you can plot his distance time graph and you compare, can compare them. I'll, I'll show you both ways of doing it. Okay, uh, Debbie's average speed, first of all. Uh, you can tell from the graph that it took her 24 minutes to travel the 30 kilometres. Um, if we want to work out our average speed, we need to know how far she's going in one hour. It's not immediately obvious how we get to one hour from that time, but if you half the time, then she must have gone half of the difference. And that's useful because 12 goes into 60 exactly five times. So if we multiply that by five, we get 60 minutes. And in five times the length, she must have gone five times the distance. And five times 15 is 75 kilometers. So 75 kilometers in 60 minutes is 75 kilometers an hour. And then if this was the method you were choosing, you would have to finish with a statement which explained uh, De Debbie had the faster average speed. Her speed was 75 compared to 66. Okay. Alternatively, drawing the graph for Ian, if Ian drives at 66 kilometers an hour, that means in 60 minutes, he drives 66 kilometers. Uh, that's not good for this graph because the axis only goes up to 30. But if we half the amount of time, we can half the distance he's traveled. So in 30 minutes, he will have traveled 33 kilometers. And if we divide by three, we get 10 and divide this by three, we get 11. Just that might be a little easier to plot. Uh, you could half to get 15 and then half of 33 and a half is 16.5. Probably a bit more complicated to plot that point. Um, so 10, and 11 is there. And now we've got two points. We can join them up with the ruler. So who had the faster average speed? Again, Debbie has the faster average speed. If you're going to use this approach, then you have to explain that Debbie has a faster average speed because her line is steeper. And on a distance time graph, the steeper the line, the quicker the journey. So for this question, revise distance time graphs and calculating speed.